talking about younger readers. When books available at Scholastic Book Fairs, who's been to a Scholastic Book Fair, <laughs> me, um, are the most widely read and known, then young readers who don't have any other metric gain their opinions about those cultures from those books. And this can be deeply problematic when they're getting a limited and are or erroneous or exotified view of that culture rather than a nuanced view. And I think a great example is Tiger Lily in Peter Pan. How many people think Tiger Lily is, is yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, and it's also true for older readers. So when Shogun is your primary vehicle, for a reader who then judges any other depiction of Japanese or even Asian cultures based on how James Clavell did it in Shogun. So for example, I'm not gonna name names, but I'm gonna read you an excerpt from a review of Ken Liu, The Grace of Kings, which is an epic fantasy written by Ken. He's using the rise of the Han Dynasty as his historical template, but the story is set on a, w a wide ranging archipelago. It's deliberately, it's not, anyway. So get ready. The Asian Chinese setting was, for me at least, one of the biggest selling points about this novel. I was expecting an environment with a political, social, and historical backdrop as researched and well executed as those found in quality works of fiction like James Clavell's Shogun and its sequels. Unfortunately, other than the occasional custom or food item or the names of places and characters, very little about the setting and the traditions truly felt Asian or Chinese. This was extremely disappointing. Given his background, I was, I'm sorry, every time I read that phrase, I laugh. Uh, yeah, anyway, given his background, I was expecting Ken Liu to come up with something akin to that in terms of depth and authenticity. Problem is, the Asian, this Asian setting, which was supposed to be a world away from the habitual medieval European environment that has become the norm in the genre today, was a bit half-assed. <laughs> oh my gosh. 